In this question, we're going to solve radical expressions. So in this question, it says solve for x, and we have the square root of x plus 3, so the x plus 3 is under the square root, and then that side of the square root is minus 1, and equals x. So we're going to solve for x. Well, in order to do this, we want to isolate x to one side of the equation. But the way we see this right now is, in order to get rid of a square root, we usually square both sides. But if I squared both sides in this case, it makes it more challenging to distribute the left-hand side using the distributive property. It's actually easier if I add 1 to both sides first. So I'm left with the square root of x plus 3 in the radical is equal to x plus 1 on the right-hand right side. In this case, in order to get rid of the radical, I would square both sides. That gets rid of the radical on the left, but on the right, then I have to use the distributive property. So if I square both sides, on the left we get x plus 3, and on the right we get x plus 1 times x plus 1. Well, on the right I have to distribute using the FOIL method, or the distributive property. So I get x squared plus 2x, because that's outside term is 1x, inside term is 1x, 1x plus 1x is 2x, and then the last term is times positive 1. So I'm left with, on the left, we still leave it the same as x plus 3. On the right, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1, using the distributive property. And then what I want to do is get all of the x's on one side, move everything over so that I get 0 on the left. So if I subtract x from both sides, and also subtract 3 from both sides, I'll get 0 on the left is equal to x squared plus x minus 2. Simplifying down. Now in this case, I, it's a quadratic. So I can use the quadratic equation formula, or I can see if I can reverse FOIL it, or factor it out. Well, let's see if I can factor it out, finding two binomials when multiplied together will get me x squared plus x minus 2. Well, the factors of x squared are x and x, so we put them in the first terms of the parentheses. And then the factors of negative 2, such that I get a positive 1 in the center, is going to be a positive 2 and a negative 1. So when I distribute back out, I'd get x squared. Outside term is negative 1x. Inside term is positive 2x. Well, that will get me to positive 1x. And then the last term, 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. Now we can set up these mini equations by letting each factor equal to 0. So these are setting up mini equations and then solving for x in those mini equations. I get x equals negative 2, and I get x equals positive 1. Well, can't have two answers, or maybe I can, but we always have to go back and check our answers to make sure that we're correct or make sure that one of them isn't a false answer. Well, let's check when x is equal to negative 2. So let's go back into the original equation. We have the square root of, well, x was negative 2 now, plus 3, and then we're going to subtract 1, and does that equal to negative 2? That's the question. Well, Let's check to make sure. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1, and the square root of 1 is going to be 1. And does that equal to negative 2? Well, so the square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 1, is that equal to negative 2? No, because negative 1 minus 1 is 0, and that's a false statement. So that's false. So that is not true. And therefore, we have to toss out x equals negative 2. That's not the correct answer. But let's check the other one. Let's check when x is equal to positive 1. Well, when x is equal to positive 1, we'll plug it back into the original equation. We have the square root of 1 plus 3. And then we're going to subtract 1 from that. And is that equal to 1? Well. The square root of 1 plus 3, well, that's the square root of 4. Negative 1 is on the outside. So the square root of 4 is 2. Well, 2 minus 1, is that equal to 1? 
So the question is yes, 2 minus 1 is 1, so 1 is equal to 1. So yes, that statement checks out. So the final answer is x is equal to 1. So you can always check your work. You actually need to check your work to make sure that your answers are correct.